Hi, I'm Kieran Foley, the CEO of Immersive Entertainment, and you're watching Eye on Business. Welcome, I'm Kevin McDonald, and you're watching Eye on Business. And tonight with me is someone that I think you're going to find very interesting. His name is Kieran Foley, and he is the new CEO of Immersive Entertainment. Thank you so much for coming. Kevin, in. thanks for having me. Really thanks appreciate it. So, um, Immersive Entertainment, I'm going to guess this has something to do with uh, IR technology, a little bit of 3D. What, what's it Virtual about? reality. So, uh, okay. we're, we're a studio focused on creating fully immersive dynamic content uh, that's completely computer generated. Uh, so if you've heard of Oculus, mm -hmm. then we're producing some of the software for that. So um, from that perspective, how is it different from what we've seen, say, over the last 10 years? So things have changed a lot. Uh, the hardware has matured to a point where now it's cost effective to actually immerse someone in a digital set and a digital experience that's uh, fully dynamic, um, uh, fully experiential. And uh, that's due in part to technology arriving by way of uh, uh, mobile phones and other technologies basically driving the price down. So. So basically what you're saying is that it's advanced enough to where it's going to become more affordable for the cons classic consumer, or is this still going to be an enterprise product or both? Yeah, completely consumer friendly. So we're looking at uh, hardware now that is anywhere from $80 to $400 uh, to get into it. Wow, it really has come down. Yeah, yeah. I remember when it was many thousands for yep. any kind of reasonable headset whatsoever. Yeah. So let's think a little bit more. I know I'm assuming gaming is going to be coming in, but I know sure. there's a lot more exciting things going on with this type of technology. So give me a little bit of an idea of the vision that you have for the product. So if you look at the continuum of software, uh, right now 360 video is really huge. Uh, Hollywood is trying to understand ways in which they can tell their stories using this medium. So if, if you look at the continuum of software experiences that are available, on one side you've got 360 video, which Hollywood is very interested in. Um, they're looking at taking existing assets like movies and projecting them in sort of a fishbowl around your head so you can experience them in 360. Um, that's not as immersive necessarily as fully computer-generated experiences, but nevertheless, it's entertaining. On the other end of the spectrum, you've got software companies who already have existing titles, uh, point, uh, shooters like uh, Call of Duty and others. Um, those are more of an arcade experience and create sort of a tunnel vision, but again, somewhat you know, entertaining for the right audience. What we're specializing in is entertainment that's created VR first, is what we call it. So basically... So with VR in mind. Yeah, so taking advantage of all the native capabilities and advantages of VR. Uh, for example, um, in VR you get an incredible sense of scale. Uh, so when you look around you, things are actually the size that you perceive them. Uh, you get a sense of presence, what's called presence, and a number of other advantages as well. So let's look at presence and, and that reality then, because again, gaming is one thing, but what about, say, training a medical procedure or teaching someone how to avoid an obstacle in a submarine. I've heard sure. all kinds of interesting things. Are these things that you're considering? So immersive, at Immersive Entertainment, we're focusing really on the emotional aspects of VR, so producing an emotional connection with the consumer. So you're um, trying to bring it to the more human element rather than yeah. just the visual. Yeah, there are a lot of companies out there that specialize and do a great job with simulation, mm -hmm. uh, but we want to go beyond that because the technology now is at a place where we can place you in an environment, in a situation that affects you emotionally. So then in that case, um, I'm thinking potentially pre and post PTSD, for example, where Certainly. you pre-expose people to things that they're going to have to deal with and then secondarily maybe uh, help them understand what happened to them. Uh, how? How far down the road have you gone as far as some of the applications of the technology today so far? So right now we're forming a, an advisory team uh, that's made up of a broad spectrum of individuals who have expertise in verticals, mm -hmm. such as medical, uh, industry, entertainment. Um, we're starting life as a content company in the entertainment space, though. So we're not going to be exploring PTSD necessarily. There are other companies yeah, doing that. Yeah. Uh, but oh, what, we want, that. Yeah, what we want to do is uh, specialize in creating the highest quality 
most immersive experience that we possibly can oh, to that's begin. That's great. So I'm guessing the investors are going pretty nuts over this. Uh, they're excited. You know, one, one never wants to, to get too optimistic, but right now we're in the middle of a, uh, ser a, a um, angel round, okay. and uh, with any luck, we'll be closing that in a few weeks. Okay. So um, big dream two years from now, what do, where do you see yourself as a company? Well, we'll either be one of the, if not a leader in, uh, in fully immersive CGI uh, entertainment in, in the VR space, or we'll be acquired. Good deal. Yeah. From the excitement perspective, um, differentiation is going to be kind of important to you. So I'm not looking to get into the technology, but when sure. you say more immersive, kind of give me a good feel for that for those that are watching that don't understand the difference between standard VR and... Sure. Well, we're, we're in the software space, so when you talk about differentiation, it's easy to talk about IP, but really with software, there's not much differentiation, right. when, as we know. Um, so really what it comes down to is who can create the very best software. And for us, what that means is like you said, taking advantage of immersion, the idea that the reality around you is so stimulating, so interesting, uh, that you want to take minutes just to look at the things around you. You're not rushing through it in order to achieve a single objective immediately. You're actually taking in the atmosphere. And uh, that's a very difficult thing to do. Um, it requires a lot of art artisanship as well as technology. Of course. And in fact, uh, I was asked recently, you know, what's the number one quality that we look for in our technologists and programmers? And that is that they're storytellers. Got it. So. Well, that should be interesting, too, because it sounds like there's going to be, you know, not just from the entertainment, but from the education, edutainment kind of program. Sure. I could see where you guys could do some really interesting stuff. Um, I also heard a really interesting comment on a sm small snippet of a user that had tried this out, that this doesn't make you nauseous. What, how is it different from some of the other? Yeah, so in our case, um, there's a balance, again, an art and science to keeping um, the mind's perception as to where you are and how you're moving uh, consistent with what you expect. And if you don't do that, if you don't really understand VR, and, and that is to say if you're doing things like 360 video or say video games mm -hmm. and you're not really thinking VR first as we do, it's very easy to make someone nauseous and that's not fun for anybody. Right, and it sounds like from what I from what I saw anyway, at least that from that user's perspective, you have done a really good job of avoiding what they've experienced in the past. Well, knock on wood, but we've had about 200 people experience our prototype software and nobody's gotten nauseous. So. No kidding. Yeah. So if people want to find out more about you and what you're doing, how can they do that? Sure. So we have an active website. It's uh, immersiveent, that's immersive, and then ent.com, and they can read all about the current progress of the product there. They can even sign up to be a beta tester as well. Okay, so you just uh, give you 30 seconds. Is there anything you want to say right off the top? Is there something I missed? No, I, I think VR uh, and AR and this entire field is, is poised uh, to explode. Um, and the reason for that is rather than just being a presentation technology like 3D or whatever, we're looking at a sea change in terms of the way that we interact with data, the way we enter the data, and the way that data is brought to us. And one of the things that's most interesting about this is that we are now interfacing with computers at a level that our biology is ready for. Uh, yeah. Whereas before, you know, you were looking at stuff on a 2D and screen. The processor and capabilities yep. and the, the future, uh, let's call it AI interactions are going to be amazing. That's right. I can so just imagine. So. The ability to be in the data and manipulate it and work with it is just extraordinary. And so, yeah. you know, entertainment is just a piece of that for us. Well, thanks for sharing. Really yeah, pleasure. Thank, Thank you. In. Thanks for having Thank me. You so much. Thank you. I'm Kevin McDonald, and with us tonight was the CEO of Immersive Entertainment, Kieran Foley, and thank you for watching.